nicht rüber, glaube ich. Muss ich echt vorne, ne? Das ist bei Fahrtür auf. Scheiße. Ich kann da nicht hin. Warte mal, was habe ich noch dabei? Okay, das Schild da vorne drauf. Poppen. Not sure what that. Oh Mann. Ich will da nicht lang. Ich muss das Ding irgendwie erstmal zu machen. Das ist jetzt gar nicht mal so schlau. Ich weiß nicht, was ich machen soll. Solange Mr. Fusion Flammen ausstößt wirst du das zweite Diagnosemodul nie erreichen. Du brauchst eine Verlängerung, um Mr. Fusion schließen zu können. Wie wäre es denn mit einem Scheibenbuscher? Ja, wenn ich einen kriegen würde. Kann ich dir echt einen Scheibenbuscher anwählen? Ja, klar. Hallo, ich brauche mal den. Scheibenwischer. Danke. Scheibenwischer? Mr. Fusione? Nice work, Martin. Das ist ja auch echt ein Deckel, der hält, echt. Not sure what that... Ach komm. Jetzt musst du die Scheiße wieder aus der Hand legen, ey. Hätten sie auch nach dem Benutzen einfach mal so machen können, dass was das automatisch weg ist. Also nicht mehr in der Hand. Naja. So. Dings ist kaputt. Dann will ich jetzt das Ding da dran bappen. Niemand ist da. Jetzt spielt ich nichts kaputt. She's been making it easy up till now? Here goes nothing, Doc. Whoa! Perfect! Now, aim the focusing towards the receiving dish on my DeLorean. Receiving dish, receiving dish. Uh, check! I already put a flux override here. Oh. Jetzt nochmal lernen. Juhu. So, das war der zweite. We're almost home, Marty. Just one fuck seat left. Ja toll. Wie komme ich denn da oben hin? Achso, dann muss ich zuletzt machen. It's locked! Stoßstange oder nicht? Nee, nee, okay. Wie komme ich jetzt da oben dran? Warte, ich muss noch mal lesen. Ich bin so blöd dazu. Edna hat so lange gebraucht, bis sie dich angeschrien hat. Sie muss ganz schön abgelenkt sein. Da Ednas Fenster jetzt unten ist, ist sie ein wenig zugänglicher. Versuche mit Edna zu reden. Na gut. Ja, äh. Ich kann ich davon hier gar nicht anwählen, die alte. 
Hello. I better not touch it now that it's synced. Ja, ich will nur mit dir reden. Edna! What? Let me in! You want in? Fine! Ah. Oh, danke. Marty, are you all right? Uh, not really. Probier es gerade. Oh, das muss ich erst wieder auswählen. Ganz klasse. Guck, jetzt ist es automatisch. Alter. Ganz schön beschissen steuern, da diese Ausrichtung. Raus da! Ui! Thanks, Dog! English, Doc. We've got to get Edna home now. Parker, then I must be back in. Would you be kind enough to tell me what day it is? It's the day I place you under arrest for arson, resisting arrest, and being a general all-round pain in the what? ass. No, you can't arrest me. Not now. I just got back from the last century. Would you look at that, Edna Strickland, drunk as a skunk. I'm not drunk, you reprobate. I'm a time traveler. Sure you are. Oh, I'm loving this. I'll prove it to you. Come with me. We can do the whole day over if you want. We can fix everything. We can start by drying you out. Come on, into the station with you. You can bunk with me, doll. I'd rather die. Stop it! Unhand me, you dolt! <laughs> well, I guess that's it for Edna. Yes, I suppose it is. You know, whoever said time heals all wounds didn't know squat about time travel. What do we do about that, DeLorean? No need to do a thing. Ever since we synced up the time circuits, the temporal breakdown in Edna's DeLorean has accelerated at an exponential rate. By my calculations, the timeline should catch up with it in five, four, three, two, one, now! What the hell? Hey, Parker, you're not gonna believe this! See? What did I say? Ready to go home? Wait, Doc! The timeline's not fixed yet. Look! Harry! You missed all the fireworks at the expo. Yeah, so I heard. Listen, I heard a rumor about you two. I guess we gotta come clean. Ta-da! Hardy took me to Reno last night! Try to keep a secret in Hill Valley! <laughs> well, you're gonna congratulate us or what? Then it's true. My grandpa's married the wrong grandma. I'm done for. Hey, are you feeling alright, kid? You don't look so hot. Oh. 
are you? Mm. You can't do this. You're not supposed to get married for another five years. Well, I know Trixie and I were taking things slow. But after that witch Edna got me fired with that postcard, we kind of accelerated things a little. The postcard? Oh, man. This just isn't right. Now, I know marrying a Canadian for a work permit isn't strictly by the book, but hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love. <sighs> isn't he just the sweetest? Can you see through me? Nope. Never could figure you out. I thought you'd be thrilled for us. You don't understand. You're supposed to marry Sylvia Miskin. But I did marry Sylvia Miskin! What? You didn't think my real name was Trixie Trotta, did ya? Don't feel too bad. It was kind of a surprise to me, too. Wait a minute. You're Grandma Sylvie? Grandma? Hey, how old do you think I am, kiddo? Uh, but you're so... so skinny and blonde and... Huh. Yeah. You know... <laughs> oh my god. I've seen you naked. You're... <laughs> Sylvia? <laughs> you okay, pal? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. You kids go off and have yourself a wonderful honeymoon. And don't worry about your dad, Artie. I'm sure he'll come around. Come around to what? Um, to approving your marriage. You seem kind of mad about it back at the high school. Well, that was before I got a look at her. Besides, as my dear old father Seamus used to say, no sense in getting riled up over something I can't do nothing about. And honestly, now that I met her, I can't imagine a better daughter-in-law than the charming Miss Sylvie here. Aww, thank you, Dad. As for you, stranger, I'll thank you to not go poking your nose in McFly family business. It's been a pleasure, Agent Callahan. See you in the funny papers, Harry. Goodbye, Grandma. You know, I took some pictures of Trixie in 1931. Hey, that's my grandma you're talking about. <laughs> They're nice. Here we are, back in good old 1986. May 14th? 15th. Best to build in a little lag time. It gives you a chance to catch up. <sighs> Looks like the estate sale is still going on. Hey, don't you want to stay, Doc? You gotta stop the bank from selling off all your old stuff. What are you talking about? Estate sale? Bank? I'm not dead, Marty. Clara and I are having a little garage sale, that's all. Garage sale? You mean... Marty, you're back from your trip. Hello, Doc. Selling off the family treasures, eh? <laughs> Not quite, but I hope you find something you like. Speaking of which, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, I sure did. Great! Hey, is that a box of Asimov? Let me get this straight. Are you telling me you live here now? In 1986? Well, naturally. Claire and I maintain a part-time residence here. Wasn't that the case when you left? No. Strange. I can't imagine not sticking around. After all, I've got my late father's foundation to supervise. If I wasn't here, who'd present the annual Earhart Brown Scholarship for Young Scientists? <laughs> Something funny? I'll explain it to you later. I don't see what's so funny about looking after a family legacy. Oh, almost forgot. I've got something for you. Happy graduation. Graduation? But that's not for another... The McFlies of Hill Valley. An exhaustively detailed history of your family. From your great-great-grandfather Seamus to the present. You traveled through time to write this? Well, most of the research was done traditionally, but your grandma Sylvia proved to be something of a mystery. Which is why you traveled back to 1931, uh, to look for her. Exactly. Who knew she was singing in a speakeasy on her stage name? This is great, Doc. Thanks. Ah, uh, it's the least I can do for the man who saved me from making the worst mistake of my life. Yoo-hoo! Dr. Brown! 
Er den på nø? Ejni. Ja, den hund. What's going on? What are you doing with my dog? The same thing I do every afternoon, silly man. Giving him such much needed exercise. Isn't that right, Einstein? Hey, dollface, it's past time for our 3.30. Coming, sweetie. Oh, Mr. McFly, have you seen my stepson anywhere? Oh, Biff, I think you're late for an appointment. Oh, <laughs> well, gosh, uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, uh, hi, Marty. Don't they make a great little family? You'd never know they met in prison. <laughs> Scheiße. Don't say anything. Let's just walk quietly into the lab and hope there are no more surprises. Denn nur wieder. Oh nein, ich ahne fürchterliches. Doc, Marty, what are you doing here? You gotta come with me, back to the future. Marty, you can't be here. If your younger self sees you, the consequences could be catastrophic. My younger self? Oh, right. Bring him along too. This concerns all of us. What do you mean? Does something happen to us? Do we turn into assholes or something? Nah, we're fine. But our great great grandkids? They're What the hell? Great Scott! Doc! You gotta come back with me! Back Don't to listen the... to him, Doc! It's me you gotta help! If you want to save Jennifer and our 12 kids... What? That timeline was overwritten five jumps back! Doc, Jennifer... how can there be two more of me here? I have no idea. My all rights of space-time continuum should be tearing apart like a cheap dish rag right now! It already is! What my evil twin and I are trying to say is the future is totally jacked up and you gotta come with me to save it. No, me! So, we meet at last. You've altered my timeline once too often. What's going on, Doc? Well, we do seem to have a conundrum on our hands. Or three. Yeah, Doc, but which one is the real me? Isn't it obvious, Marty? Come on! Prepare to be erased. Doc, wait! What about the space-time continuum? Yeah, what about my future? And mine? The future can wait. We've got a present to catch up with. Where to, Doc? Mr. McFly, thrill me. <lacht> uh, ja, das war zurück äh, in die Zukunft. Ziemlich geil für Leute, die die Filme mochten oder immer noch mögen. Ziemlich cool weitergemacht, hat Telltale da mit einer kleinen Story nach den Filmen. Ich fand es sehr unterhaltsam. Eine ganz nette Story und viele Anlehnungen an die Filme. Sehr cool gemacht und ich verabschiede mich für dieses Let's Play. Haut rein!